Hi guys, this is Elise here with a product review of some items I got from Arteza. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize to Arteza for there being such a long delay in me doing this video. They sent me these products a few months ago, actually it was before we moved, and then once we moved, things got a little crazy with the move itself, and then my father passed away, and um, so I'm just now getting to this video, to doing this video, but I wanted to come in and do my part of this collaboration. Their part was to send me the products. My part was to actually do this video. So I'm going to do it now. And in the description box below, you will find a coupon code so that you can get a discount on your next purchase. Um, I will also, if you order, place an order through this video, I will also get a small commission to with no extra cost to you. So don't worry about that. Um, so I would appreciate if you actually like go to their website through this video if you're planning on ordering i would really appreciate that um but let me show you because my battery on my camera is going to die so let me show you what i ordered and um what i did today okay so the first thing i ordered was this 60 count acrylic set of paints this is absolutely wonderful guys i don't think i will ever need another color of paint at all i mean every color you can imagine is in this box now I've already opened it and I've already played around with it and I can tell you that these little tubes the paint comes out so smoothly and it actually goes onto the paper just re it's really nice really nice paint guys so if you're interested in some paint or in the market to buy new acrylic paints go check them out because this is a really nice set you've got these little trays that come out so here are some blues and you've got your there's some greens and they're all separated by color, um, like, you know, by the color. So um, here are some oranges and I've got some yellows here and there's some red in there. Really, really nice set of acrylic paints. So that's the first thing that I got. And then I got this set of bone folders. Now I have not played around with these yet and I'm a little puzzled because I'm not sure what to do with these. I'm assuming that they're just different shapes that will go with how you want to hold your bone folder or how it feels in your hand. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to research this a little bit and watch some other videos of some other crafters that may have gotten these bone folders. Um, so uh, my the reason I picked these is because I want to have a bone folder, um, one in each of my craft bags and then uh, one here up on my desk. So I just wanted a couple extra ones, but if these are, if these do different jobs, which I can't imagine what you, what else you would do with these. Um, that's why I say I'm, I'm assuming it's just the feel, I think. So anyway, I'm going to investigate these a little bit more and see uh, what that's all about, but I got those. And then I also got a two pack set of the mixed media paper now this is not going to fit in the camera but let me show you that it's 11 by 14 it's 110 pound weight and it's mixed media you get 60 sheets now this is really nice guys not only is it good for wet or dry media you can also use it for a card base so if you're a card maker that paper is great for folding it you can use your bone folder to fold it and make your card base um it's great for all types of projects that you may be working on. So that's why I got that. And not only do I have one pad of 60, I have two. So that gives me 120 sheets of 110 pound weight paper. That's 11 by 14. That's a lot of paper. It's going to take me a while to go through all that paper. So let me show you the little thing that I did just to test out these paints and test out the paper. I made this little card. Now this again is the mixed media paper. These are the acrylic paints. I just did a little stroke of each one. Um, and again, they went on really nicely. They dried very quickly. And then I wanted to test to see how well it was, how well I was able to stamp on this paper. And I just grabbed the stamp that was here on my desk and I stamped that. So now I have this really cute journal card that can go into one of my, my journals. So look how cute that is. So cute. So even if you are not a painter, um, there are all sorts of little things that you can do with paint to give your projects just that little extra. These are not 
only good for paper, but you can also paint on wood. You can paint on rocks. You can paint on different types of paper. Um, this is just a really nice set of paints and the paper is great too. So that's what I want to show you guys. And again, thank you Arteza for sending these wonderful products to me. Um, again, guys, check the description box below. I will have that coupon code. Go over and check them out guys and show them some crafty love and support of their business. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. And thank you again, Arteza, for these wonderful products. Have a good day. Bye.